zero start circulation tank heaters warm the engine's combustion chamber, which aids in cold starts and the reduction of emissions at startup. Tank heaters are available in various configurations of voltage, wattage, thermostat ranges, and power connection with UL, CE, and CSA certifications. This video will show you the proper removal of your old heater and the easy installation of the Zero Start Tank Heater. There are many advantages of installing a Zero Start Tank Heater, such as quick and easy field replacement with our UL certified 15 amp plug models available up to 1500 watts. In addition to simple replacement, the Zero Start Tank Heater provides other added benefits, including a mounting bracket that allows for quick alignment to existing mounting holes, dual thermostats that ensure safe and reliable operation, a more robust tank housing seal which eliminates coolant leaks, and a cast aluminum body designed for strength and durability. These features combined provide a distinct advantage to the quality, safety, and reliability that's not easily found in competing models of this heater type. Before performing any installation or maintenance, always remove the engine's battery ground cable and disconnect your power supply to the heater. To remove the old heater, start by blocking the flow of coolant using hose clamp pliers on both the inlet and outlet hoses. Using hose clamp pliers will aid in reducing the overall installation time required. If hose clamp pliers are not used, you will need to drain your cooling system before installation. Loosen and remove the hose clamps on both the inlet and outlet barbs of the heater. Carefully disconnect the hoses from the heater and secure them out of the way. Locate the mounting bolts holding the heater bracket to the frame. Unfasten the bolts and remove the heater. A properly sized Zero Start tank heater is designed to match both the existing mounting bolt pattern and hose diameter requirements. This ensures for a quick and simple replacement installation. To install the new heater, Confirm the alignment of the Zero Start bracket with the existing mounting bolt holes and modify if needed. Attach the new heater bracket to the frame, making sure all bolts are tightened. Next, attach the Zero Start heater to the bracket with the included hardware. Tighten the bolts and confirm the unit is secure and does not move. Reattach the proper coolant hoses to the inlet and outlet barbs on the heater. Tightening the hose clamps over the barbs for a secure connection. It is important that the proper tank orientation and hose routing is followed according to the installation manual. The heater's tank height should be at or below the cylinder block's coolant level. The coolant hose routing should have no high spots, dips, or sharp bends in the hose transitions. A minimum of a 15 degree rise in the coolant lines going to and from the heater to the engine must be maintained and the cooling system must be properly bled of air before energizing the heater. Next, remove the hose clamp pliers from the hoses to allow the coolant to flow freely. If you drain the coolant before installation, refill to the proper level. Use only the manufacturer's recommendations for proper coolant mix. Reconnect the engine's battery ground cable, but do not energize the heater at this time. Start and run the engine until the coolant thermostat opens and all the air has been bled out of the cooling system. While the engine is running, you should check for any leaks. Turn off the engine, check the coolant level, and top off as needed. Connect the Zero Start tank heater to a shore power source and energize the heater. You have now successfully installed the Zero Start Circulation Tank Heater. For more product and installation information, visit our website, www.phillipsandtemro.com.